guys, welcome back to another video, and today I have a very, very big Hot Wheels Monster Trucks haul for you guys. So in this video, I'm basically just going to be showing you guys all of the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks that I've gotten, honestly, over the past few months, probably since, like, May or June. Um, I just really haven't gotten around to doing any unboxing videos now. Um, one thing i just like to get out of the way is I'm not going to be unboxing these trucks in this video just to save time, because I think there's a total of, like, 25 trucks or something like that. Um, I believe there's 22 Hot Wheels Monster Trucks and then 3 Hot Wheels Monster Jam Trucks. Uh, two of which that I got at a flea market and then one that I purchased from somebody, which you will see that uh, towards the end of this video. But, um, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to be unboxing them only because I just want to save time because this would be a very long video if I spent all that time unboxing and reviewing them. So I will unbox them off camera. Um, all these trucks will be debuting in Sign Up Series 200 as well. And then tomorrow I should have a video coming out showing you guys all the Spin Master trucks that I've gotten over the past few months because, as you guys can tell from the title of this video, this is just the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. So, um, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Well, without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the very first truck that I'm going to show is actually the truck that I got most recently. Um, I just got this from Target the other day, I think on, like, Thursday. So just two days ago, um, as I'm posting this video, so, um, yeah, let's take a look at the back of the packaging. You can obviously tell which truck it is from the back. I mean, it's right there. This is actually the final truck that I needed to complete the SpongeBob series. You guys can see on the back we have SpongeBob, Squidward, Mr. Krabs, and Plankton. I've had those four for, like, a few months now. They've been in a ton of my sign-up series at this point, but, um, I had a hard time finding the Patrick one, but I finally got it just the other day at Target. So here it is right here. Um, a good look at the truck in the package. I'm probably only going to show each truck for like 10 seconds each um, just to save time as well because even with just showing these trucks, this is still going to be a long video. So, um, yeah, there's the Patrick truck. That is the first truck down out of like a total of 25. So, um, the next two that I'm actually going to show you guys is the one and only Demolition Doubles pack. So, here is the back of the packaging. Now, the two trucks that are in the box are actually not on the back. So, um, oh, well, actually, I just realized they're both right here. I wasn't even looking up there. I was just looking at these. So now you can see which two trucks they are. They're right there. Um, I'm honestly not even going to attempt to pronounce the names of those trucks, but you guys have probably seen that Demolition Doubles pack by now. Um, I know some people have gotten it, but I just got it. Um, honestly, I'm not exactly sure when I got this. Probably like a month ago, I'd say. Um, and also, some of these trucks I got at Target and some I got at Walmart. It's honestly probably about 50-50 for the ones that I got at Walmart and Target. But I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this Demolition Doubles pack I got at Walmart. Now, sorry that the lighting is off. But anyways, those are those two trucks. Again, I'm not really going to try to pronounce the names on those because they're like, I believe, Japanese names. And I'm just not even going to try to attempt to pronounce it. So anyways, the next truck that I got is on the back of the package here. So which one do you guys think it is? It is Will Trash It All, as you guys can see right here. It's basically a dump truck. There's a look at it right there in the package. That one's pretty cool. Um, I think it was definitely a unique design by Hot Wheels nonetheless, but um, I think it's a pretty cool truck. So that is that. Um, the next one that I'm going to show you guys is actually from the same case. So here again is the back of the packaging. Which one do you guys think it is? It is Hot Wheels Special Forces, also known as HWSF. Um, you guys can see it pretty good in the lighting. It's almost like a blackout truck, like what they used to make back in Hot Wheels Monster Jam when they were still um, producing the trucks. So, um, pretty cool truck. All, overall, as you guys can see right there, it has red beadlocks on the tires as well. So, that is HWSF. Again, it's also known as Hot Wheels Special Forces. Um, so, the next truck that I'm going to show you guys is actually from a different case than the other two. So, it's on the back of the packaging right here. If you guys want to take a guess of what it is, you can also... I mean, you, you can also see which truck it is in the package right there, just about on every single one of them. So, um, anyways, it is Bad Catitude, as you guys can see right there. Um, this one is the one with the green tires. I believe there was another Bad Catitude that came out. I think I already have it. Honestly, I'm not too sure off the top of my head, but I believe so. Maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know. But this is Bad Catitude. Um, so that is, I believe, two, four, I believe six trucks down, which means we still have 19 more to go. So the next one I'm going to show you guys is on the back of the packaging here. Um, this is another new case, actually, from all the ones that you guys have seen so far. So take a guess of which one it is. Again, you guys can already see it right there. Anyways, um, it is 5 Alarm. I already have the gold version, and then I believe, I believe there was a red one, right? Again, I'm not too sure off the top of my head. Hot Wheels has made so many different trucks and so many unique designs. Honestly, I get confused with what they've came out with. But I believe there's a red one as well as the gold one. And now this one right here is like a white, green, and blue. So definitely an interesting design for a fire truck concept uh, nonetheless. But it is pretty cool. 
Um, so the next one that I'm going to show you guys is from, I believe, the original case that I uh, first showed other than the Patrick truck and the demolition doubles, of course. So um, which one do you guys think it is? You've already seen that I got Will Trash It All and the HWSF truck. So which one could it be? I already have Psychedelic and V8 Bomber, so that means it is either Piranha, the black and white chassis snapper, or Hall Y'all. Again, it's pretty pointless in even saying that because you can see the truck right there on the back of the packaging. It is the black and white chassis snapper. Um, that is the second one, I believe, that Hot Wheels has came out with. Of course, you have the original one, and now this one, which is a part of the black and white series. So that's that truck. Um, overall, pretty cool. I think the black and white series is actually an interesting, uh, an interesting concept by Hot Wheels, but I think it is pretty cool. Um, so this next one is actually a special truck. Here's a look at the back of the packaging. Now this one is a Target exclusive. Um, recently Target has had two Target exclusive trucks. This is the only one I found of the two because the other one, which again I know it's pretty, uh, pretty sad that I don't know this, but I kind of forgot the name of the other one off the top of my head. I think it might be like... Okay, honestly, I don't even remember, but um, this is one of the two Target exclusives. It's the only one that I found of the two. You guys can already see it right there. It is Iron Spider. Now, the box right here is actually kind of teared, and I do remember when I got this one. I probably got this like two, maybe even three months ago, um, but it was the only one there, so it doesn't really matter to me that it has the rip in the box because I'm going to open it up anyways, but... um. Yeah, there it is right there, and like I did mention in the beginning of this video, I'm going to open all these trucks off camera right after this video. Um, I just wanted to save time and not do it on camera because this video would be extremely long. Um, so anyways guys, the next truck that I'm going to show you guys is right here. So take a look at the back of the packaging and you guys can take a guess of what it is. It is the orange Chevy Camaro. Definitely a very cool car, or cool truck, but car at the same time um but yeah i think it's really cool definitely an interesting design by hot wheels nonetheless and um yeah there's a good look at it right there i like it because orange is my favorite color so of course i'm going to be a little bit biased on it but um i think it is a pretty cool design uh, nonetheless so um anyways the next truck that i'm going to show you guys is on the back of the packaging right here now this truck has been around ever since hot wheels monster gym was producing the trucks this has definitely been um a a favorite for Hot Wheels to make for sure. Um, you guys can already see it right there. It is Shark Reek. Like I said, Hot Wheels has been making this truck for years now, ever since the Hot Wheels Monster Jam days, ever since like probably sometime around 2010, I think, is when Shark Reek was first released. So, um, yeah, that is the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks version. I'm really happy that I finally got this truck. Um, I've wanted it for a while, and now it is finally a part of my collection. So, um, next up, we have a truck that I should have got a while ago. Um, this was one that has been out for a long time, but I just got it within the last like two months. So here's a look at the back of the packaging, and the truck is four-wheel hive. Um, I'm pretty sure I got this one at Target as well. I think I got it at the same time as when I got Iron Spider, actually, if I if I remember correctly. So um, yeah, there's the truck right there. I think it's pretty cool. Um, of course, it's supposed to be like a beehive truck. You guys can see like all the bee designs on it, and then the name of it is Four Wheel Hive. So um, there's one look at it right there. I think it's pretty cool. The gold is definitely a good color for this truck, and I think Hot Wheels did a great job on it. So that is that truck right there. We still have like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, I think about 13 trucks left. So we're about halfway now. Um, I might try to speed this thing up actually by not showing the trucks on the back of the packaging because I'm already approaching 9 minutes and I didn't want this video to be too long. So um, I'm just going to show you guys um, just the front now. I'm not really going to spend too much time showing the back like I said because you can see which truck it is anyways on the back. So the next one that I got is right here. It is the Hot Wheels Jeep. Another, like, basically car design that they've now made into a Hot Wheels monster truck, just like with the uh, Chevy Camaro as well. So there's a look at that in the packaging. A very, very cool truck. An interesting design as well. Um, but a nice truck to add to my collection. So uh, the next truck is the second and final black and white truck that I've got here in this haul. So which one do you guys think it is? It is Skeleton Crew. Uh, that is to go along with the regular one, the black and green version. So this is the uh, black and white version right there. Very, very cool. I think Skeleton Crew is definitely a good truck that they chose to put in the black and white series. Um, so we still have a lot of trucks left here. Um, the next one that I'm going to show you guys is Potty Central, which is an interesting truck. Definitely a funny one. Um, an interesting design, uh, to say the least. But there it is right there. There's a lot of designs on this truck, actually. I'll try to show it up close here just for a second. You guys can see it in the packaging right there. Um, an interesting uh, concept by Hot Wheels, but I think it's pretty cool. A lot of the younger uh, Monster Jam diecast collectors will definitely be interested in this truck as well. So um, a cool design, I guess. So the next one is kind of going off of Spin Master's ride truck. 
um, that they've came out with recently with like BKT, Gravedigger, Blue Thunder, and all the ride trucks that Spin Master has been making. So um, with me saying that, you probably know which truck it is now. It is Hall Y'all. Um, it's basically, I guess, Hot Wheels version of a ride truck. You guys can see like right there where the people would sit in the back as if it were a ride truck. I'm um, sorry that it's not really staying up straight, but um, this truck has kind of became a peg warmer at my local Walmart. I've seen a ton of this truck, so... Um, yeah, that's pretty interesting because it is a cool truck. I'm surprised that this truck out of any of them is the peg warmer. But I mean, all beefed up is a pretty big peg warmer too. Not as much as it used to be, um, but it definitely used to be a, a pretty big peg warmer as well. So um, anyways, the next truck that I'm going to show you guys is like probably the sixth version now that I have of this truck. This is Hotwiler. And now this is the dark red version. Um, like I said before, there's like probably six different ones that I have. Now I have the six stuff version. There's a brown version. Um, I can't even think of them off the top of my head. I know there's an orange one. There, there's a there's a bunch of different ones. I think there's a black one, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so there's a ton of Hot Wilers, but um, this was the dark red version. Finally, cool to have this one in my collection. That was in the same case as like uh, Shark Reek and um, Motosaurus and Hot Wheels, <clears throat> Hot Wheels Police and Sriracha and the uh, Red Five Alarm. So the next one that I'm going to show you guys is actually a part of that case as well. And it is Donkey Kong. Again, this is another truck that was made back when Hot Wheels Monster Jam was still producing the trucks. But I actually don't have the Hot Wheels Monster Jam version. Uh, but I do have the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks version now. Um, it's not as cool as the Hot Wheels Monster Jam version was. I mean, you guys can see it in the package here. It's definitely not as cool. Um, I think they could have... I think they could have put more effort into this truck, but it's a cool concept, I guess, and it's pretty cool that I now finally have some type of Donkey Kong truck in my collection. Um, so we still have four more Hot Wheels Monster trucks and then the three Hot Wheels Monster Jam trucks, so I want to keep this video under 15 minutes, so we're kind of getting there now. Um, the, next one, the next one that I'm going to show you guys is, um, like, I believe probably the third or fourth version I have of this truck now in Hot Wheels Monster trucks. It is Megarex. This is the one with the gray body and the yellow roll cage and then the blue tires. Um, so a pretty cool truck. Megarex, again, is another one that has been coming out since Hot Wheels Monster Jam was producing trucks. I believe the original one came out in 2014, I think. Maybe 2015. Um, either 2014 or 2015. But um, anyways, guys, the next truck that I have to show you guys is actually another one that I already mentioned in the beginning. I forgot that I just got this one. When I was showing the uh, white and green and blue 5 alarm, I mentioned that I already had the gold one. And I forgot it's one that I have not yet opened. So here it is right here. The gold 5 alarm. I now have, I believe, all three. I think they've only came out with three. Uh, the gold version, the red version, and then the white, green, and blue version that I already showed you guys earlier on in this video. So that is the gold 5 alarm. Um, now we have two more Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. The next one is the final one that I got in stores, and it is Piranha. Of course, it's based off an actual Piranha, but you guys can see um, right in the bottom left how it's actually spelled like Piranha with like four H's right there. Um, but it's pretty cool though. I'm really happy to finally have this truck in my collection as well. Um, so that is Piranha. Now the final Hot Wheels Monster truck is one of two trucks that I purchased for my friend Anthony7771. You guys have probably heard of him before. He's been in the Monster Jam community for a long time. Not so much anymore, but still definitely interacts with it at, at least because he still signs up for my sign-up series and other people's sign-up series as well. Um, so the first one of the two trucks that I ordered from him or that he sold to me basically is Radical Racer. As you guys can see right here in package, he found this one at Walmart, I believe. It might have been Target, but I think it was Walmart. So that is a very cool truck. Um, this one, again, as well as the other like 25 trucks in this video will be debuting in Sign Up Series 200. So that's one of two trucks that he gave me. Now, the other one is a truck he's had for a long time. He's had it loose, and it is one of the three Hot Wheels Monster Jam trucks that I have to show at the end of this video. So what do you guys think it is? It could be any truck from any year. And it is Heartbreaker. This is a truck that I have wanted for quite some time. Um, honestly, for years now. And it's very, very cool to finally have this truck in my collection. So, uh, thank you so much, Anthony7771, for these two awesome trucks. I did pay him for these. Um, they weren't for free. Like I said in the beginning, I purchased these from him. So, oh uh, yeah, that is Heartbreaker. So, that is one of the three Hot Wheels Monster Jam trucks that I got. Now, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, the final two... Um, or actually two that I got at a flea market, honestly, like probably three months ago. So, um, the first of the two, by the way, these are both carded actually, and the first of the two is definitely a rare truck. Um, it's again another Hot Wheels Monster Jam truck that I've been looking for for years now, and it's finally a 
it's finally very cool to finally have this truck in my collection. That didn't really make grammatical sense, but you know what I'm trying to say. Um, it is a small hub, and as you guys can see right here, if I can get it to stay up and then I'll make the camera focus better, it is the Red Scarlet Bandit. I believe this one is from 2003, so nearly as old as I am. Um, but yeah, it was very cool to find this truck in package. I think it was like $2 or something like that. So a great deal for this truck. I could not pass up on that opportunity. So this truck will be debuting in Sign Up Series 200 as well. It's going to be the only um, small hub truck in the lineup. So that is very, very cool that I got that. And the next one is definitely a truck that I was not expecting to find. I believe it's from 2009, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but I believe it's from 2009. So which truck do you guys think it is? If you guys know your Hot Wheels Monster Jam trucks well, you, you could probably um, make a, I guess, educational guess on what it is. Um, but nonetheless, it is the Spectra Flames Batman, as you guys can see right there. Um, a truck, like I said, I was not expecting to find, but it's one that I never had in my collection, and I now do. I wasn't really specifically on the lookout for it, but it's a cool truck nonetheless to add to my collection. And it is another Spectra Flames truck that I now have in my collection as well. Um, so that is pretty much it for this video. It was definitely longer than I had expected. Just imagine how long it would have been if I had actually opened all these trucks and then reviewed them. It probably would have been like an hour long. Um, but anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. Tomorrow I should be posting a video on all the Spin Master trucks that I've gotten over the past few months. Um, I honestly might even make that into two parts because I have just about as many Spin Masters as I do Hot Wheels Monster trucks. And I don't want to upload another nearly 20 minute video. So we'll see what happens. Um... But yeah, make sure to stay tuned tomorrow for that is when it should be out. If not, then definitely by Monday. Um, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you guys do subscribe. Um, we're on the road to 2,100 subscribers. And also, of course, leave a like on the video. Turn on post notifications as always. And I will see you guys next time.